Don't we all wish for profound easefulness in our journey of growing our business? I know I do. And in the beginning of my business, I had what I consider to be a very shallow understanding of ease. Let me explain. The mainstream understanding is of ease is, oh, I get to do what feels, what comes naturally to me every day. And then I make money easily. Uh, people like my, my content and people buy my stuff. And I'm just, it's just so easy. It just all comes flowing out so easily. That's what I used to understand as what easefulness meant in business. And then I realized that was a very shallow definition because that, that level of ease is easily disturbed when the results aren't what I wanted or when times got tough and doing something was challenging, then the ease disappeared, right? So I had to develop a deeper level of ease. And I discovered that if I reframed effort and reframed outcome, then I could feel a deeper level of ease. Meaning if I reframe my daily effort as I'm not looking for what comes so naturally to me and so easily to me, it just comes pouring out of me. That's nice. But if I only do what comes naturally to me, then I am not growing. Have you considered that? If you're just doing what comes naturally to you, by definition, you are always within your comfort zone and you are not growing your skillfulness. And so your results are going to be whatever is at that level of skillfulness. What comes naturally to you will get whatever results come naturally to you as well. And if you're not wanting just that level of results, if you want to increase your results, then we have to reframe the daily effort as, okay, if I can stretch myself a little bit every day, practice a little bit more creativity, practice a little bit more diligence, practice a little bit more vulnerability or courage or experiment with something different, that's also stretching beyond your comfort zone, then you have, you are on that path of growth and you can settle into knowing that. And that feels more settling. That feels more purposeful. And that purposefulness fuels the sense of ease. And then the other reframe is the outcomes. We, we reframe again, what we put out into the world is let me stretch a little bit and see what happens. Cause I know I'm doing this to grow. And then I'm also reframing what the world comes back to me with. What is the reciprocity? Do I, am I getting what I want? If I'm getting what I want, then I celebrate and ask myself, what am I doing that's working well? And how can I do more of that in the future? And if I'm not getting what I want, I ask, what does the world want from me? And how can I stretch more into that? How can I serve my audience more effectively? And these reframes of effort and outcome help me to have more of a daily level of ease. This is joyful productivity. Now, even so, there is an even deeper level of ease that helps me even more. So this, this first level of depth, I consider this to be joyful productivity. And then there's an even deeper level. And that deeper level is what gives me the energy to practice joyful productivity. So what is that deepest level? Well, I don't know. What is that for you? What is your most profound source of ease? It can't be what other people do. Because if other people don't do what you want, then you don't have that profound level of ease, right? It's very fleeting and it's very uh, depends on what the world does. But if you find that deepest level of ease, for me, that's my faith. And so I'm curious what that is for you. My faith helps me to have hope and belief that I am on an inevitable path of growth towards the divine, growth towards greater love, understanding, creativity, power, um, connection with the all. 
and that I cannot, no matter how weak I am or no matter how much I screw things up, I cannot screw up the fact that this journey is inevitable. God, the all, makes sure, ensures that I will always stay on that journey. I believe that for you too, but that's just my faith. I'm curious what yours might be. And so that profound level of ease, knowing that I'm always protected, I am always being guided, and that all will truly end up amazingly well. Through all the so-called ups and downs of life, it, it will end up so beautifully. I cannot even comprehend. And that hope and faith and sense of love is what gives me the most profound ease every day and the energy, therefore, to experiment in my business. Because it doesn't matter if I so-called fail and things don't go well. It's just a very small blip on the very long journey of inevitable growth towards greater love and understanding and creativity. So I hope this is helpful. I hope that you will also practice your connection every single day day, every single time you start work, every throughout the day, keep practicing that connection to your most profound source of ease. I believe that will give you the energy to then practice stretching yourself towards a greater skillfulness that will bring you greater results that you hope for in your business. Thank you for watching. Thanks for joining me on this journey.